welcome to Music with Mrs. Buffo and Maestro 2. Today we're going to talk about the musical concept of form. It's kind of like a road map that tells us where the music's going. Let's get started. In music, the form is the map of the song. It tells musicians what is coming next. Today we'll be listening to Maestro's favorite song. Let's take a listen and see if you can name the song. That is the start of our song that we're going to be looking at today when talking about musical form. It's one of Maestro's favorite songs. I think you know it, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Would you sing with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I sure hope you were singing with me. We're gonna talk about musical form and that specific song. Just like sometimes you take a different route to school in the morning, musical form comes in many different ways. The first two are binary and ternary. Binary means two, A and B. Ternary means three, A, B, A. Those aren't the only musical forms there are. Keep listening to find out three more types. The next two types include rondo, also known as the abacata, A-B-A-C-A-D-A, -A -A, and theme and variations. It looks like that is an apple, and then it turns into a caramel apple, then sliced apple, applesauce, and back to that apple. So it's the same thing that's changed around a couple different ways. The final style of form that we're talking about today is sonata form. This includes parts of the melody, including exposition, development, and finally recapitulation. We'll talk more about these final three forms when you're in third, fourth, and fifth grade. Let's focus on binary and ternary forms. Let's go back to the song that we sang before, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Listen to this first section. Let's call that section A. A for apple, right? Okay, so that is section A. Now let's move on to section B. B for banana. That was section B. Let's hear the final section. Here's a hint. It's either going to match A or B. Hmm. Let's listen. What do you think? If you think that matched section A, show me a sign language A. A like this, A for apple. If you think that matched section B, show me a B like this, B for banana someone who wants to tell you what section that mystery was, A or B. Here I am, Mrs. Buffo. Thank you so much for joining me. So, Maestro, what do you think? Was that section A or section B? It was section A! It was section A. If you held up a sign language A like this, that means you're right. Excellent work, friends. This piece of music is in ternary form. That means it goes A, B, A. Starts with an apple, goes to a banana, something a little different, and then goes right back to that apple. It reminds us of how the beginning of the music went. Well, folks, that's it from us today. We discussed musical form. It's kind of like a map that tells musicians where the music is going. This has been Music with Mrs. Buffo. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.